Sophia and I decided to do a video diary on my journey with Belvedere Clinic and um, the reason why I decided to do this was just for girls like me, women like me who um, don't know much about the procedure and the ex just the whole experience in itself and um, I think it will be quite useful for other people so that's why I decided to do it. So. Um, I wanted to explain on my first video why I decided to go through with um, breast enlargement and it's something that I always wanted from like a young age like you know um, in secondary school seeing other girls develop really early and growing faster and it's just like you're the one that kind of just is left out in that experience in puberty and it's like a bit disappointing and then like you know, people will say, oh, wait until you get a bit older. Well, I'm 25 now. You know, people say, what about, you know, when you have kids? I've had two kids and they're still small. So it's just my preference. And I think as well, like, the main thing that everyone needs to know before they go through with this is that is for yourself. I'm not doing this to impress friends or to follow a trend or to, um, you know make my partner happy, he's already happy as it is, or to like impress my family members. It's nothing to do with that. It's just because I want to go through with this, that's why I'm doing it. And um, So I went for my consultation with Belvedere and it was actually really, really good. Um, the staff were also friendly from reception to the um, nurses, to the actual surgeon, like everything was, um, it went really smoothly, like I wasn't waiting in reception for too long before I was seen and um, even got a cup of tea whilst I was waiting, which was nice. I do like my tea. <laughs> I wanted to go for the maximum that I could go for for my size. Because I haven't got a lot of skin, um, he chose the biggest one that I can go for. And to me, it didn't seem really, really big, but everyone's saying because my frame is so small, it will look quite exaggerated on me and I think I will like them but um yeah that's the biggest size I can go so it's basically double d almost an e kind of thing which does sound quite large but when you see the implant itself it's not it's not that big you, you do get to see the implants they have all the different sizes in front of you and as well what's really cool in Belvedere Clinic um they basically take a picture of um, your breasts on like this computer and then there's like this Photoshop thing that kind of shows you what your results could possibly look like and um, the picture was like really good like before and after picture you could see there's going to be a big difference like it's going to be more more rounder just more bigger in general like it looked good and um, yeah, the surgeon was really good anyway. He went through everything and um, he asked me a couple questions about my health. I'm generally pretty healthy. Um, the only bad thing is that I'm quite a heavy smoker. I smoke a lot of cigarettes. So um, he's told me like to cut down as much as I can before actual surgery. So um, I did buy an e-cigarette today and I am going to try and quit it's going to be really, really, really hard because I really do like my cigarettes, but it's worth it. If it can help my healing, then it's worth it. Also, um, I do drink on the weekends as well when I go out and stuff, so I'm going to have to cut that down for healing also. And, um, yeah, he just gave me all that advice, really. Then after I spoke to the surgeon, I went to speak to another member of staff. She was really, really friendly. And um, that's where we went through the financial side of things. Hi, my name is Sophia. I'm here at Belvedere Clinic today to have breast enlargement. And um, I'm really excited to go, so...
three days after surgery. Uh, I'm really happy with the results, as you can see. They're doing quite well. And um, what I like about the Macron bra as well, which, which I'm wearing, is that you can kind of see your results. So it's not like when you're bandaged up and you can't see anything. Like You can kind of see it at the top and have a cheeky peek when you want to. But of course, you've got to keep the Macron bra on at all times. Um, yeah, it's been a bit difficult like trying to wash whilst wearing the bra. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it will all be over soon. And um, I'm going to go back to Belvedere for my last um, checkup, and then that will be it. So I'm going to do another video in seven days when I'm feeling a lot better. But yeah, so far, so good. Hi guys, so it's seven days after surgery and I am feeling so, so much better than the last video that I filmed. In the last video, I was in so much pain, I could hardly talk, but now I'm feeling a lot better. I've also finished my course of tablets, so I'm not drowsy anymore. I'm feeling a bit more back to myself. Um, I am still in pain and I have to move very, very carefully and um, yeah, I can't be lifting up my arms still, so I'm still kind of like this all the time, but it's worth it. And if you've noticed, I've been a bit cheeky. I've taken off my Macron bra just for this video and I will put it back on straight after this video because I've got to wear it consistently for the next couple of weeks to heal properly. But um, yeah, I've just put this supportive sports bra on so you can kind of see the ending results. They've dropped a lot more since surgery day, so they're looking a bit more better. Um, I must say that I'm very, very happy with the results. Um, yeah, this was the maximum cup that I could go for. And in my head, I was thinking I'm not really going to like this size, you know, it's not going to be big enough for me. But um, now that the implants are actually in, as you can see, they are quite big and I'm quite, I'm very, very happy actually. And I will not be going any bigger. I'm actually really happy that I listened to the surgeon. If I went any bigger, I think it would have looked a bit too much. So I would recommend listening to your surgeon. And um, if they do, you know, recommend something, it's definitely for a reason. They're very experienced and they know what they are doing. So yeah, my breasts are starting to feel a bit softer now that it's been seven days. And like I said, they're dropping more. Uh, I still just have to be really careful because I'm in a lot of pain. And um, getting out of bed, you have to kind of turn on your side and then push yourself up. Sleeping is a bit annoying because you have to sleep kind of up. So you have to have like a couple pillows behind you and sleep a bit upright. But um yeah, I'm kind of getting used to that, but it's kind of hurting my neck. <laughs> but yeah, it's worth it. It's the way that we have to sleep after surgery. So um, having baths is quite difficult as well because um, I still like wear my Macron bra in the bath. So I have to like wash kind of around and try not get any water on the scars. But um, soon I'll be able to like pour water on top of um, this area when I'm washing. So that'll be a lot easier. And as well, um, a couple of weeks after that, I believe I can start massaging with bio oil for the scars because there is like a little scar here and a little scar here, but they're not that bad and they're right under as well. So they're not very noticeable at all. I'm really, really excited. So I'm going to get back in my Macron bra now and um, rest up some more and I'll see you guys soon. Belvedere, beauty with care. Belvedereclinic.co.uk